So we're going to do an SAT quickie uh, on the first slide, and then we're going to do another one. So that's a total of two questions. And we wanted to thank those of you who are giving us those high ratings. Thanks so much. Okay, people, please don't do on this question, and this is an actual question from digital practice test number five. Please don't do what, what the authors intend you to do. They intend, you, intend for you to look at underground metal pipes, go engineer Aroba Salim, and think that it was hypothesized because of your scientific um, experiments. Don't do that because I kind of already just told you that hypothesize is not the answer and it's not. So let's get into what's really going on here and let's read this and let's look at why I underlined these words. So you were unearthing pipes, you had a tendency of some metals and you can go internal magnetic fields. You can really do this because you're thinking of what the metals are doing they altered stress. The team showed that such alterations can be measured from a distance and revealed concentration of stress in the pipes. Okay, if you wanted to put colleagues hypothesize the tendency of some metals internal fields uh, to alter under stress, that's part of what, the, what you think about in the scientific ex, uh, experiment, right? Ask a question and then hypothesize. They're past this. They're actually doing the work. They're also, they're already conducting the experiment. So we need to find another word for this space over here. Okay, are they discounting? Did they discount? And remember, this isn't discount as in price. This is discount as in they discredited. They didn't look at what was going on. So it's not discounted that way. So they discounted the tendency of some metals internal magnetic fields alter under stress. The team showed that such alterations can be measured from a distance and can reveal concentrations of stress in pipes. If they discredited it or discounted it, 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 you know, they wouldn't be able to get to the last part that they revealed exactly something they were measuring, the stress in pipes. See if they can alter under stress. Alterations can be measured from a distance and they can reveal the concentrations. This is another word for levels of stress in the pipes. Okay, did they redefine the tendencies? So let's just read this. To demonstrate that the integrity of underground metal pipes can be assessed without unearthing the pipes, engineer Arob Salim and his colleagues redefined the tendency of some metals internal magnetic fields to alter under stress. The team showed that such alterations can be measured from a distance and can reveal concentrations of stress in pipes. Is that what they did? Are they redefining something that's already been defined? No, they're defining it. So now you get into your only choice left, and this is what the answer has, exploited. Now, here's the situation which you're going to do. You're going to say exploit means to take advantage. Exploit means to underpay. Exploit means this, but there's also another definition. It means to take full advantage of something that is offered to you. So a lot of times you will hear developers say, you know, especially when they're drilling, let's go exploit our possibilities, let's go exploit the land, and the meaning has a different term, okay? And if you check with this, your answer is D, exploited. Now read it. To demonstrate that the integrity of underground metal pipes can be assessed without unearthing the pipes, engineer Aroba Salim and colleagues exploited the tendency of some metals internal magnetic fields to alter under stress. The team showed that such alterations can be measured from a distance and can reveal concentrations of stress in pipes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and label this hard only because you have so many choices. <coughs> I'm going to call it moderately hard. Some people say this is moderate, but here's a problem. They throw hypothesize as a distractor, and they want you to go right to this and circle it because it's dealing with science. See, and that's where you get thrown. And then redefined, there's no other paragraph before that says that they had already discovered it or some engineer did. So, you know, you have to be really, really quick to see that the answer is not C and then choose the answer that they want. 
So if you got this right the first time, give yourself a hand. If not, let's do one more and see how we can get better at this. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one is kind of, I'm going to go ahead and put easy. Let me tell you why. All you have to do is take the language that's being used and turn it around. Okay, uh, so let's go. In 2016, biological anthropologist Heather F. Smith and her team investigated the evolution of the appendix, an intestinal organ that is present in some mammals, including humans. Okay, so it's present in mammals, including humans, but is generally thought to have no function. Studying 533 mammal species, the team found that the appendix has emerged independently across multiple lineages in separate instances and significantly has not disappeared after emerging in specific lineages. Moreover, the team determined that species with organs tend to have higher concentrations of lymphoid tissues. So let me read this again. That is, the team determined that the species with the organ, okay, so they're saying with the specific organ, tend to have higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue, which supports immune responses, and the cecum, the organ to which the appendix is attached. Therefore, the team hypothesized that the appendix likely did what? So it says, which choice most logically completes the text? Now, they did a lot of, like, hypothesizing and a lot of things here. But what they really said, Heather Smith and her team investigated the appendix. You can keep this word if you want to. Doesn't matter how it started. You just know that. Uh, but generally, it's thought to have no function. Please don't think that they're talking about the appendix because they're not. They're talking about the organ attached to it. Okay, study in 533 mammal species, the team found that the appendix is merged independently across multiple lineages in separate instances and significantly has not disappeared after merging in specific lineages. So all this means is specific lineages kept it from one generation to the next while others got rid of it. So... You know, pay attention to what's going on. Uh, don't get, you know, too hard at reading and just say, hey, but it says it's multiple languages and this and let it confuse you. Sit down and analyze what it's saying. Moreover, the team determined that the species with the organ tend to have higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue, which supports immune responses in the cecum the organ to which the appendix is attached. Okay, so all they're all they're basically saying is, hey, there's more lymphoid tissue in the cecum. The appendix is attached to that. And most mammal species kept the appendix and the cecum and then had lymphoid tissue. So read that backwards to yourself and think about what they're saying. And here's your conclusion. Therefore, the team hypothesizes the appendix likely did what? Was once present in many non-mammal species, but has since disappeared from those lineages. Were we looking at non-mammal species? No, this word changes this. They didn't even bring up non-mammal species. Get rid of it, please. Has been preserved in certain mammal species because it benefits their immune system. This is a possibility, so let's put a check. Why is this a possibility? It has been preserved. Certain mammal species benefits their immune systems. It's found in specific lineages higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue, which supports immune responses. Has not disappeared after emerging in specific lineages. Species with the organ tend to have higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue, which supports immune responses. They're all responses, excuse me. They're almost reading it back to you. Okay, C, will emerge in, in a greater number of mammal species because it may serve a necessary function in the immune system? That's a big jump, but it is a possibility. So C might be possible. And D, produce higher concentrations of lymphoid tissues in mammals than in the past and thus currently. If this is the case, then why are they saying that they have found 
higher concentrations with supports. They never said whether they found higher concentrations for, for, past. They just said, we found higher concentrations, this. So if you take this jump, when all it says that they found higher concentrations, period, higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue, Guess what? You take that big jump and you say they found higher concentrations in the past than they do currently. You're setting yourself up for failure because that's not in there. Don't add things. Did it say anything about the history? 2016, they studied 533 mammal species. Did they say they found the ones from 10, 1053 uh, before common era? No. Did they tell you they found the species 2015 and before? No. Did they tell you it's an ongoing study and that even in 2023 and 2024, they're still responding? They're saying that in 2026, she took what she had. End of discussion. Don't add things to it. So now let's go back to B and C. Has been preserved in certain mammal species because it benefits their immune system or will emerge in greater number of mammal species because it may serve a necessary function in the immune system. Okay, I like B, but let's look at why C may or may not work. Did she say that it will emerge? Did Dr. Smith and her team say that it will emerge? It said that the appendix from the, what we already had has a cecum, which has higher concentrations of lymphoid tissue which support the immune system. Now, did it say a growing number of mammal species will emerge in a greater number of mammal species because it will serve a necessary function in the immune system? Is it really taking that jump? It, it says, the studying 533 mammal species, the team found that appendix has emerged independently across multiple lineages in separate instances and has not disappeared after emerging in those in lineages in certain ones so out of the 533 let's suppose it's 200 of them only those specific lineages had that appendix and cecum in the tissue does that mean that a greater number of mammal species are going to emerge or does it mean that this word right here this specific amount Did Dr. Smith say we're going to find more? No. She said what we already have. Check your answers on digital download, the SAT. The answer is B. And that's why I marked it easy. And I'm going to go on ahead and say it's moderate easy because that's not fair. I've been teaching this for a while. So I'm going to say it's moderately easy. And I want you to look and think this through. And why am I using moderately instead of moderate? Because easy, it is easy, is an adjective, and moderately needs to be an adverb. So moderately easy. If you have any questions, we're at jacobitslearning at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.